In other news now, Alberta Premier Jason Kenney is on the attack, accusing environmental groups of an organised effort to keep the province's oil and gas from reaching new markets. Its main tactics have been disinformation and defamation, litigation, public protests and political lobbying. The Alberta government says it's trying to blow the lid off a deliberate campaign to landlock oil in Alberta. The UCP will spend $2.5 million on a public inquiry into foreign-funded special interest groups they say are attacking Alberta's energy industry. The opposition NDP calls the inquiry the equivalent of hiring someone to do a glorified Google search. Joining us now from Calgary is Vivian Krauss, a contributor for the Financial Post, in today's announcement, Premier Kenny pointed to her years of research digging into foreign funding backing campaigns to block Canadian oil. Good evening, Vivian, and thanks for joining us. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Vivian, you spent decades following the money behind environmental and political activism. What are your main concerns when it comes to anti-Alberta oil campaigns? Well, you know, we, we do use a lot of oil. You know, worldwide, we use a 1,000 barrels of oil every second. Huh? I do think it's too much too fast. But the trouble with this activism is that it's not helping the environment. It's a huge amount of economic pain. It's cost Canada billions of dollars, and yet for no real environmental benefit. You know, this campaign has been running for a decade now, and during that time, we've gone from using 85 million barrels a day to more than 100. So all that's happened is that the production of oil has shifted away from Canada. Investment has been scared away from Canada to other countries, and most of which produce oil under uh, less stringent uh, regulations and laws than we do here in Canada. So I see huge economic pain for mm -hmm. no real environmental gain. So what's your reaction to the inquiry that has been announced by the Premier of Alberta? It's a big investment. We're speaking about $2.5 million over here. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's something that should have happened earlier or this is good or more needs to be done? Yes, I think this should have happened years ago. But, you know, we can't change the past. Uh, we can learn from it and move forward. And that's what I, I hope, I hope will, will happen. You know, Alberta has been in sort of pipeline paralysis or purgatory, whatever you want to call it. And I think part of the problem is that this activism has been misunderstood or, or not fully understood. So I, I hope this inquiry will get uh, beyond the protesters that we see, you know, on the front lines, uh, beyond the Canadians who are involved. I'm sure most of them are just genuinely concerned about the environment. But there are big funders behind this campaign, some of whom have a long connection, long history with the American oil industry. So I think we do need to understand exactly who's funding this. And why? The most important question, as I see it, is why the Rockefellers and the other funders of this activism have, you know, taken a sledgehammer to the Canadian oil industry. Meanwhile, they've done almost nothing to slow down oil production in Texas and North Dakota. Why the, 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 um, the, the harsh treatment of Canada and virtually nothing in the United States? Uh, Vivian, I want to just uh, highlight something that you said in your research, and of course, the Premier also made reference to it. Uh, we're speaking about close to $600 million American dollars from U.S. foundations mm -hmm. to Canadian environmental groups, is what your mm -hmm. research says. I'd like to understand, how are you able to trace all this money back to some of these foundations that you have spoken of in your research? Oh, it's, it's relatively easy. But just to clarify, that $600 million, most of that is for what they call large-scale conservation initiatives, like the Great Bear Rainforest, the Canadian Boreal Initiative, and the Yellowstone to Yukon Initiative. It's only a small fraction of that, though it's still tens of millions of dollars that's been specifically earmarked for activism against the Canadian oil and gas industry. So the way that I've if follow the money, if you will, is just via the tax returns of the funders. I started with the annual reports of the environmental groups, mm -hmm. and most of them mention, uh, acknowledge their funders, and then I went to their documents, their, their online de grants databases, and ultimately to the American tax returns to add up the money. Right, but citing your report, Vivian, well, of course, oil is a major concern. It's a huge political issue as well. Your report constantly points to the fact that the PMO has benefited because of all that is happening. When you make <clears throat> that charge, uh, how do you back mm -hmm. it up? Oh, it's, it's very clear, you know. And there's a Rockefeller-funded organization called OPEN. It stands for the Online Progressive Engagement Network. And their executive director uh, takes credit in writing in their annual report for 2015 for having, and I quote, contributed greatly to the ousting of the conservative Harper government. So, you know, when you have it in writing from the executive director of an organization, I think it's uh, pretty clear. And that organization was the, uh, the parent organization of a, a Vancouver-based nonprofit called Lead Now.
which depicts itself as a youth movement. But mm -hmm. in fact, uh, I think there's a little more to it than that. And, and, and what do you think about the other opposition parties that are not supporting this cause? For example, the NDP in the province is going out and saying that this inquiry is equivalent of hiring someone and doing just a glorified Google research. Uh, what would you say to that? I think it's disappointing. You know, this activism has cost our country tens of billions of dollars. You know, some estimates put it at a hundred billion. So I think, you know, two and a half million dollars is taxpayers' money, is a lot of money, it needs to be well spent. But I, I do think that this inquiry is, is worthwhile. I think it's necessary. All right, we'll have to leave it at that. Vivian Krauss in Calgary, thank you so much for your time today. Mm -hmm. Have a good weekend. Thank you.